Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the 10th video that we are covering as part of Tally's release 4.0 where we are discussing the major features introduced in release 4.0. In the last six videos, we discovered the feature of Excel import using both the sample template provided by Tally and also our own Excel sheet or Excel file that we have where we mapped the fields of tally field and imported into tally the master section. We are clear about it. Now, starting from this video, couple of video, we will be discussing about how we can use again the sample Excel template provided by tally for capturing accounting and also inventory in vouchers in tally and how you can again use the mapping system in case you have your own fields for your voucher detail in your excel file so in this video we will understand again the fields that are relevant which are mandatory field or optional field capture few transaction basic accounting and inventory transaction and we will import and then see how easy and simple it is for us to import even the transactions into tally without capturing any voucher in tally. So let us go to tally and explore this option. In our previous six videos on Excel import of masters, we learned how to use tally's sample template for master import and also learned to map our own fields of master in our excel file to the fields of tally prime and imported the masters of accounting and inventory also in this video we shall learn to import transactions that have been captured in excel file into tally prime as we are aware that there are two ways of importing masters or transactions downloading the sample transaction template excel file provided by tally and capture the relevant transactions in the provided fields and import into tally prime the second method is to have your own transactions captured in your excel file and then map the fields in your excel file to tally primes field and then import the transaction into tally prime we shall first import our transactions using tally's excel template provided for transactions if you recall in the previous videos we had imported accounting masters and inventory masters using both the methods those of you who have not viewed the earlier videos i have provided the link in the description for you to view them first let us now download the sample transaction excel template provided by tally so how are we going to download we go to import and click on manage you have to select sample excel file this is what is the sample file provided by tally so when you click here you will see masters and transactions so we had downloaded masters and we have imported masters and now we are going to download the transaction sample file so select transaction press enter and in our earlier videos i had explained how you can set up your default folder path and the file that we are going to download is accounting vouchers xls and what we are going to download is we are going to download all accounting vouchers so when we say all accounting vouchers such as payment voucher receipt voucher purchase voucher sales voucher contra voucher and journal voucher debit note and credit note can be created in your excel file if you select all accounting vouchers these six primary vouchers and two secondary vouchers can be captured so now we are going to click on export when we click on export the file will get downloaded in the folder path that we have specified now the accounting voucher file is downloaded in our excel data folder so all you have to do now is just open this and then start capturing the transactions i have already captured the transaction so let us quickly have a look at the transactions that has been captured important thing that we learnt in the master is there are some mandatory fields and optional fields so how do you identify the mandatory fields the name of the field which is in bold if you see here the voucher date voucher type name ledger name and ledger amount are in bold which means these are mandatory fields and you cannot delete them the voucher number and all other thing voucher number buyer supplier address pin code uh, 
these values you know debit credit values all these are optional information and certain information if you really don't want to capture like for example when we created our master we had given the buyer's address or my customer's address or my vendor's address pin code everything we have captured so we don't need this either you can leave it blank or we can delete it also let's say we want to delete this thing so we go come here and then we say delete this column and we delete the pin code column also rest of the column is required by us and if you notice here i have captured the first transaction i have captured is the purchase transaction where the company is purchasing from amar enterprises and what is the item it is purchasing it is purchasing acer laptop 10 numbers the rate is captured here the unit per item is captured here and the total amount is captured the change mode here is basically we have three type of voucher entry mode especially in case of your purchase and sales that is item invoice accounting invoice and as voucher now since we are capturing item we can select this as item invoice now this is where if you see in my previous video we had discussed about the accounting voucher read me when you click here the list of all the fields that are available for you to capture in a voucher for a master is provided here in tally which i had explained the three columns and the applicable value in my previous video and again the applicable value is very critical we have to capture the same nomenclature that is provided here this is the field name that we have to select for the applicable value if you come down here to accounting voucher you will see the list of field is change mode which is applicable for all countries and the applicable value here is very important that is as voucher item invoice accounting invoice so the item invoice nomenclature is what is selected by me here as item invoice the first voucher i have captured is on 1st of april the voucher type is purchase which is a mandatory field and the date is a mandatory field voucher number my first purchase entry and here the ledger name is basically in my purchase there is party ledger involved and also the purchase ledger involved and according to accounting principle we are going to credit the supplier and debit the purchase ledger the supplier is amar enterprises the amount is 250000 so how do we get this 250000 if you come down here in the purchase you will see the item that we are buying is acer laptop 10 numbers is the quantity that we are buying the rate per laptop is 25000 and the unit is numbers and the total is so 25000 into 10 is 250000 that is going to be the total amount payable to amar enterprises and 250000 is going to be my purchase value so we have this two ledger one for credit one for debit so the next transaction that we are capturing is the sales transaction on 2nd april again sales 150000 the item that we are selling is acer laptop five numbers at 30000 1 lakh 50 is credited and ram traders to whom the sales is made is 1 lakh 50 thousand debit the third entry that we have captured is a payment voucher the ledger is conveyance company is paid 500 rupees towards conveyance and this is as voucher so similarly the other two vouchers that we have captured is receipt ram traders is paid the amount of 1 lakh 50 thousand for the sales that we have made and we have captured ram traders credited and the amount is debited to hdfc bank since the payment is made through bank and the next one is the company is making payment that is you are making payment to your vendor amar enterprises and the total bill value is 1 lakh 50 thousand but whereas you are remitting only 1 lakh rupees towards their bill so amar enterprises is debited 1 lakh and the check is issued through bank so hdfc bank is credited all these are as voucher so this is your total transaction that you have captured in the excel sheet which you want to now import it into tally once you capture this transaction just save your entries and then you can just minimize them now before we import so let's quickly go to chart of account and then see the masters because important aspect you have to remember that if you are are capturing a transaction the masters involved in the transaction should have been imported prior to capturing the transaction in case if the master is not created and you have a transaction which has got a new master then those entries will not get imported or it will get imported with exception which you have to handle them which again you must see my earlier video where i had discussed about how to handle the exception so we go to chart of account select ledgers and you have this option for you to see only those ledgers you have this option here on the right hand side there is this button called ledger view 
click on lecture view tally is going to display all the lectures that you have created including the predefined ledger that tally provides which is cash ledger the name of the ledger is provided here and under is the group under which these ledgers are created and since we had imported with opening balance the opening balance values are also there so which means since these masters are already been imported i can start capturing the transactions related to these masters similarly click on other masters and select stock item enter and you will observe that the stock items also have been imported with the user defined inventory masters which we learned in our earlier videos so which means now we have the masters which are relevant to the transaction that we have captured and in simple step we can now import the transaction so how do we import click on import now this time we are going to import transactions click on transactions the file format is excel spreadsheet the path is the default path that we have already set and the file name here is the accounting vouchers which is the sample template that we had filled in enter and the sheet name in the sample file is accounting vouchers enter and this is the default template which tally is provided enter then preview import summary it is set to yes just press ctrl a now tally is going to tell you that the number of vouchers are related to each voucher type so purchase there is one voucher sales there is one payment there are two vouchers and receipt there is one voucher and the file to import and the worksheet name and the transaction period everything is provided here so all you need to do is just click on import so tally will import and you get this message now import completed successfully which means these transactions are imported into tally so how do we view them you can click on go to and then select the day book select day book enter and for you to see the list of all the entries that you have passed just press f2 press space bar to blank the date tally will know the starting date of your voucher entry and the last date of your voucher entry so you will observe here all the transactions starting from april to 5th of may has been imported into tally here so we said the purchase and sale entry should be in the item invoice mode so all you need to do is just select the relevant voucher type enter and you will now see that acer laptop 10 numbers we have purchased similarly the sales again is in the invoice mode and you have all the other transactions in the voucher mode the conveyance we use the voucher mode so the data is captured in the voucher mode and it is displaying in the mode of entry that we have selected so this way you can use the tallies sample template for transaction and capture capture your transaction and import them this is the basic transaction that we have captured in the next video we will see how we can create our transactions with gst information and how are we going to import those transactions into tally i hope this video would have given you a fair idea of how you can use the sample template excel file that is provided by tally for capturing transaction capture the transaction make sure the masters are already imported capture the transaction and in a very simple step we learned how we can import the transactions also so in the upcoming video we will see couple of more excel feature that we can use for importing of transactions so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much